One recalled vote means hundreds of Detroiters with disabilities could lose transportation. Last night, City Council approved a $49 million paratransit contract only to vote it down after a recess. The result, a 70% cut in paratransit service, going from 1,000 rides per day to 300. Seven investigator Ross Jones with the fight between the mayor and council that could leave hundreds unable to leave their homes. I think there are many realistic options, but the mayor has to stop having a temper tantrum. Stephen Hanshu is one of the 1,000 disabled Detroit residents who every day depend on paratransit services to live their lives. Stephen is legally blind. It's a shared ride service that many of us utilize to uh, get to medical appointments, to and from work, social events, all the reasons that the rest of you travel. But today, Stephen and Detroiters like him are caught in a tug of war between Mayor Mike Duggan and the City Council. At issue is the renewal of a five-year contract with a French company who's been in charge of disabled transit services in the city for years called TransDev. TransDev services started out bad and got worse. Even city officials acknowledge there were big problems, from drivers showing up late, or not at all, or worse. We should not uh, be committing to a five-year contract with a service that is, has been providing bad, poor services for the last six years. We've had many instances of people being taken to the wrong place, uh, and uh, certainly blind people who were dropped off and told you're in front of your house and they're nowhere near their house. So yesterday, Mayor Duggan's office wanted the council to approve another five-year extension with TransDev, but disabled advocacy groups pushed back, wanting a smaller one-year deal to give the city more flexibility in case services didn't improve. At first, the council approved the contract by a five to three vote, but later on in yesterday's meeting, Councilwoman Gabriela Santiago Romero has to change her vote. Apologies for doing this after a very long day, but I would like to ask to reconsider my vote for 16.2. The contract renewal failed to the shock of other council members like Coleman Young II. Now, starting January 1st, 70 percent of the riders who rely on paratransit services in the city will be left out in the cold. It is irresponsible. It's disheartening that now we're saying to 700 people who rely on this daily that, you know what, sorry, figure it out. Stephanie Washington is Mayor Duggan's chief of staff, who says the city will be forced to prioritize medical runs first. If the people who benefited most from these services wanted this contract to be voted down, doesn't that tell you there's a big problem with this company? Absolutely, but that's why we took them, the administrative services, out of the contract. Um, and we were listening to the community as well as council. The mayor's office says they'd already developed a plan to address TransDev's performance issues by bringing many of their administrative operations in-house. Now, they'll have to start from scratch with a new procurement process that will take months. The very people council wants to help, they're hurting, and it it is disheartening. It's, it's just shameful. As for the city council, they're about to go on recess for the year, not scheduled to return until January 2nd. That's about the same time TransDev's contract will expire, and Detroiters like Stephen Hanshu will be wondering where their next ride will come from. The idea that anyone would play brinksmanship with such an essential service is terrifying. In Detroit, Ross Jones, 7 Action News.